Here's a word about relative versus absolute URLs when you're fetching data from the server using AJAX techniques. In the example you've seen, index.html, the URL is simply that of the fetch data, something data.txt. And that works fine because data.txt is a file in the same directory on the web server as index.html. In other words, it's a text file that's in the same directory as the current web document. So data.txt and index.html are both in the same directory on the server, and that works fine. And that's a relative URL because that does not specify HTTP web address, and as long as you are in the same directory as index.html, the document that's being viewed in the browser, that's fine. That's the default directory to search for data and text files. However, you don't need to simply use a relative URL. You can use a full URL like this. As you see here, HTTP localhost VTC Ajax slash data.txt. That's, that's a, that turns the relative URL into a full URL. And so as you see, you can use a full URL here as well. There is, however, one caveat, one important consideration to take into account. That is that you cannot, using Ajax, you cannot access another web server use safely without seeing uh, error messages um, and displayed in dialog boxes. So I'm going to see how to handle that situation later, but in this case, the important thing to note is that although this uses a full URL, the URL is for the same web server as the web server that contains index.html. In other words, index.html and data.txt are still on the same web server. If you're going to access data from another web server using your Ajax techniques, you have to make special provisions. We're going to see how to handle that later on. But in this movie, what's important is to realize is you can use relative or absolute URLs. However, if you use absolute URL, at this point, you have to use the same web server as the web document index.html appears in in order to fetch data safely. Otherwise, if you try to look at a web document like index.html and fetch data from another web server, http colon slash slash microsoft.com slash data.txt, for example, your browser will suspect that some suspicious activity is going on and display it a warning message to the user in a dialog box. I'm going to see how that works later on, but in order to, and we'll see also how to avoid that. In any case, that's the story about relative versus absolute URLs. You can use relative URLs with AJAX if you simply place the data to fetch in the same directory as the web page you're looking at. You can also use absolute URLs, no problem, as long as you're working with the same web server as the AJAX enabled page that the person is viewing, that the user is viewing in their web browser at that moment.